Welcome to today's Tech Tip. In this video, I'll show you how to work with the files and applications found in the Library tab of your OpenBoard software. Let's get started. The Library tab lets you organize and access all of your sounds, videos, images, shapes, interactive apps, and demonstration tools for use on the whiteboard. To access your library or to resize the panel, just click the tab and hold it while you drag it to the left or right to resize the window as desired. OpenBoard has made it very easy to add sound files, videos, and images to these library folders. During the installation, the OpenBoard software automatically creates a folder called OpenBoard in the Pictures folder, the Music folder, and the Videos folder of your personal computer. For Windows, those folders can be found in the directory called This PC. And for Mac and Linux, OpenBoard folders will be created in the User folder settings. You can directly use these folders to add or delete images, sounds, or videos without first opening the OpenBoard software. Simply drag or save files into these folders from your desktop. The Pictures folder provides access to your library of images. If you want to insert a picture on your whiteboard, use the drag and drop method. To do this, click and hold the image of your choice, then drag and drop it onto the whiteboard. The X button in the upper left corner deletes the image. The button next to the X makes a duplicate of the image. The third button displays some additional commands such as lock, which prevents the image from moving around on the whiteboard, and the visible on extended screen option. On the far right corner, you can perform a rotation of the object. The two buttons below the image help you bring an image up front to the foreground or move it to the background if you have several layers or objects. An alternative way to add images to your picture folder is to select an image from your desktop using the selection tool and then choosing the Add to Library option. All these images will show up in your image folder within the Library tab. To insert a sound onto your whiteboard, you can use the drag and drop method. To do this, click and hold the sound of your choice, then drag and drop it onto the whiteboard. The sound options are similar to image files. The buttons on the top allow you to close the sound object, to duplicate the sound object, or lock and unlock the sound object into position. The play button starts or pauses the sound. The stop button stops the sound and resets the sound back to the beginning of the sequence. And the audio speaker icon enables or disables the sound. All video objects operate in much the same way. To add a video to your whiteboard, use the drag and drop method. Click and hold the video that you would like to use and drop it onto the whiteboard. The play button starts the video or playback and pauses the video. The stop button stops the video and resets the video to the beginning of the sequence. And the speaker icon enables or disables sound. You can also group objects together. Select multiple objects by clicking on the first object, then the other objects with the shift key pressed. A new icon appears. One click on the new icon and the objects are grouped and can easily be moved around together. A second click on the icon and the objects are unbundled. Next, I'm going to highlight several of the interactivity apps and demonstration tools located in the library panel found on the right side of your whiteboard. To get started, just click on the Home button at the top of the Library tab. For the purpose of this training video, I will not be demonstrating all the apps and tools. For a full list and description of the whiteboard apps and tools, see the PDF link included in the video description below. As with all the objects in the library folders, to insert the interactivity apps or demonstration tools, use the drag and drop method. To do this, click and hold the app or tool of your choice, then drag it and drop it onto the whiteboard. Here are a few of the interactivity apps. The Dice interactivity app will launch virtual dice. Press Start and get a random result. You can change the number of the dice in the Edit menu. The Scale app allows students to work with different weights visually. 
These interactivity apps are all editable and there are many more built into the OpenBoard software. Here are a few of the demonstration tools. The triangle tool can be enlarged, flipped, or rotated. Using a pencil tool, you can draw a line using the triangle. The Google Map tool allows you to access Google Maps directly on your whiteboard. The Any Embed tool lets you import an embedded link or embedded code. This is really useful if you want to embed a Google Slideshow directly onto your whiteboard. You can do this by finding and copying the embed code from your Google Slideshow and entering that code into the Any Embed tool. It's simply amazing that this software offers so much and is completely free. That's it for now. Try it out and for goodness sakes, have fun.